I didn't know I was pregnant. I took the vaccine and the vaccine ended up affecting me and my baby. I need help. Hello valuables. Welcome back to my channel. It is me, your host, Mary Johnson Emma. Thank you so, so much for joining me on today's episode. And if today is your first time of coming across my channel, I want to say I value you. Thank you so much. You are in the right place. Please make yourself comfortable, like, subscribe, share, and be part of this great family. Believe you me, you will never, never, never regret being part of this family. So just as you all can see from the title, I'm actually going to, you know, tell you my experience with the vaccine i've taken the first dose and the second dose i'm going to tell you my experience everything the effect the after effect you know things i never knew about it and things i got to you know find out when i decided to go for the first one so just like you can see from the title you know a pregnant woman i never knew that a pregnant woman shouldn't take the vaccine like when your pregnancy is still at the early stage i never knew like i didn't have any idea so yes we decided to like my husband and i to take the vaccine so we went to our house at to take the vaccine and when we actually came they asked me if i'm pregnant so i'm like what does being pregnant you know what relationship does it have to do with me taking the vaccine they actually refused to give me the vaccine because they said you have you know to make sure that you as the woman you know that you are not pregnant so that you'll be at the safer place so i'm like okay so they said i have to go run a test yes a pregnancy test to confirm that i'm not pregnant or to confirm that i'm pregnant so for them to know whether to go ahead or to stop so yes we actually had to go out and purchase some pregnancy test kits and they conducted the test by themselves but long story cut short i was vaccinated. my husband and i we were vaccinated, and you know we came back home the after effects you know came you know i've been seen on youtube some people will be like oh i took the vaccine this happened to me this 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 happened to me i actually think that all of this has you know the effects is different from different people so maybe the effect that you got might not be the effect that i've gotten or the one that i've gotten wouldn't be the one that you've gotten as for me i didn't actually feel something so strange although yes i actually felt some after effects which i will talk about in this video but it wasn't that bizarre like it wasn't that strange like what i've been he hearing people or seeing on the youtube will be like oh um this happened to me when i took the vaccine and all of that so just like i said i want to share my own experience so first of all before i go in detail telling you the after effect and all of that and the second dose i would love to say if you are a waiting mom or you are a woman and you are pregnant try to find out if you are pregnant don't just go and you know take the vaccine without um finding out if you are pregnant or not because if anything should happen you would hold yourself responsible like the doctors wouldn't be blamed because you should actually know this so it is so important that we have this information and know that it is necessary it is vital that you get tested you as you know an expectant mom you as um, a, a woman waiting you know for babies you should make sure you try as much as you can to get tested and know if you are positive or negative if you are expecting or not before you go and take the vaccine it would actually be good that a woman would actually go and take the vaccine without knowing and then she would come and be like oh i didn't know i was pregnant i took the vaccine and the vaccine ended up affecting me and my baby i need help can the world help me no you know we can actually avoid such mistakes so that's why information is just very very important so you make sure that before you go and take the vaccine if you have not make sure you do what you test and you be at the safer place and i actually heard that some pregnant women actually take it so like i said if your pregnancy is actually at the early stage you wouldn't be allowed to take it but if it has you know advanced to a certain age your doctor your doctor would actually tell you if you should take the vaccine or not so make sure you don't just do things because you say or you think it is right or you think you want to do it make sure you ask your doctor make sure you are sure that you know what you are doing is right and if your doctor say no don't take it please just obey 
listen to your doctor and make sure that you and the baby you people are safe so yes um as for the video of um my vaccine we were not allowed to take video like i don't know why i told the doctor that I, she is she's a woman i told her that i want to take a video she was like she said no that it is not allowed this is forbidden so i'm like so but i saw other people taking videos you know when they were actually taking their shots but mine she refused but all of the same i actually had this small clip yeah just as you can just see you know when i took it i took it i took the two of them at my left hand side i don't know why i took the two at my left hand side i'm used to taking stuff left hand side when i took my second vaccine i wasn't also allowed to film but i had to like film the um the info that's the vaccine kit yeah what it looks like so you also see it so yeah so i actually have to like just film it and you know so i, I can also attach it for you people i know there are some hospitals like especially in this germany they are strict like they don't actually want you to come in and then just video some things like that so that's why i found it difficult video because i thought i would just video it and then bring it but all the same the little video that i did and the talking together the information i believe it will be helpful to you so like i said when i took the first when i came back home i actually felt as if you know this hand wasn't mine again yeah i felt that this hand wasn't mine again although the next day i went to school yes i went to school the next day it didn't stop me from going to school i still do one or two things book of course but this hand i felt like i don't know like something heavy is on this hand i couldn't lift it if i want to lift it i actually felt some pain and you know bringing it down i felt some pain so i was just so careful even when i went to school i was just so careful so as not to I don't know <laughs> i didn't know what i was expecting so i was just being so careful especially what i felt for the first vaccine like i felt a whole lot of pain like it was that day the next day and that was just it so let me just say two days of pain here i didn't feel headache i didn't feel anything nothing nothing i didn't feel anything of such but the only thing that i knew that happened was when i came back after the vaccine i just slept I went to bed and I dozed off, yes. So that was just that. Then for the second um, vaccine, after taking it, I felt like, ah, what is happening? I just felt strange because I didn't feel that same pain that I felt, you know, when I took the first one. I didn't feel that same pain, but my body was off. Like I was just totally off and all of that. And at the same time, yes, I just had to like relax, you know, make sure that I am good and all of that. So yes, you know, I have heard so many stories, so many people saying, ah, this happened to me, this happened to me. And my story is actually different you know you'll be like abba mary why didn't you fall sick i didn't fall sick like i said i just only felt pain for two days and yeah and i slept off i felt pain the second dose i felt you know comish tired and all of that which was just okay i know so many people actually feel that okay because i've taken the vaccine this is what i want to bring out let me live anyhow the vaccine is not that you've taken the vaccine is not a guarantee that you should live your life anyhow that you've taken the vaccine does not mean that you should actually go out and then i don't know just do anything you want because here in germany the rate of the the rate of this covid is actually going up and the reason is because winter is approaching like it, this morning it was five uh degrees six degrees so it is really cold it is cold so you as a person you owe yourself that protection like no one owes you that protection if even if god is protecting you you should also put in some effort to you know show that you appreciate what god is doing so even as god is protecting you you should also make sure whenever you find yourself in the midst of thousands of people hundreds of people 50 make sure you cover yourself make sure you are safe and you being safe is not just only for yourself know that when i am safe i am also being safe for my family for my friends for my children for my you know for people around me because when you are contaminated 
unfortunately this is the real truth people around you, your beloved ones will also be affected so for your beloved ones not to be affected you should be careful so i would love to just throw out this advice and say let us try to protect ourselves even as god is watching over us keeping us we should also try and make sure that we you know prevent those things that will bring trouble or those things that would expose us to the virus those things that will expose us to harm those things that will expose us to you know to different sicknesses that are not the will and the plans of god for us so yes this is just me trying to share my experience with the vaccine you know things that i've learned things that i never knew that a pregnant woman shouldn't take the vaccine and even if you should take your doctor should actually tell you that and I, I think this information i know this information is very vital so i also want to say thank you all so so much for you know staying with me to the end of this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up like share subscribe share this video because some people don't know about this i just found out so you sharing this video would actually bring people to the notice and inform them that this and this shouldn't be done try to avoid this so i value you all till i come your way next time i remain your honorable your blessed <laughs> i remain your humble host mary johnson and may remember you are the head and not the tail thank you all so much i value you all.